Good afternoon from this brisk, windy Florida afternoon. Just on a little stroll. Take a guess as to what James can't keep his eyes off of. Oh, it went to the next episode, but it was David singing this to Patrick. You killed it. Hey, cutie girl. I just heated up some leftovers and a whole pound of pasta for us to eat before we head out. So we are on our way to Disney property, but I did just want to answer a kind of frequently asked question these days. Um, a lot of you have been asking about our PO box and what's going to happen to it during our move to Chicago. And basically our plan is to keep the PO box until we like maybe a week or two before we move. So the Orlando address will be good through mid-February. And then once we get to Chicago, we will set up a new one um, there. And so there will be just like a small gap of time where we won't have a P.O. box. Um, so if you're, you know, thinking about sending something and you're iffy about the time, just go ahead and wait until we share the new one with you. Um, but we will definitely say when we are closing the Orlando one. Um, so that one will be will be good through February, or at least until the mid middle of February again. We'll tell you when we close it. We got Jamesy Boy in the carrier. Our first stop is Hollywood Studios. We just had a visit to this vet. You know I'm saying, what do you think is in there? Plastic? Bunch of, just a bunch of soybeans. Just a bunch of soybeans. Gonna be a quiz. He can soak it in while he's sleeping. You know, like those sleep consciously those yeah. sleep tapes. Oh my goodness! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, I did not know these were here. Open. So, if you're coming for the film. Happy, happy parents moment. Oh, he stirs. Sarah's going on um, alien throwing sausage right now by herself. But I gotta say, it was a very special moment watching One Man's Dream with him, uh, him with me and Sarah. We waited a very, very long time to experience that and to sit there and watch that documentary that so means so much to us as a parent holding my child. I got a little teary eyed. It was, it was a, it was a very nice moment. So now me and him are just gonna go stroll all over. Oh, I think Ray might be out. Let's go see. Oh, it's Chewy. Chewy's hanging out up there. Look at him, I haven't seen him in a long time. I think that is Ray with Chewy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The wait for this ride was super short. I haven't been on it in forever. It's my favorite ride at Hollywood Studios. And I'm very excited and happy. I saw mom. She's right there. She looks like she's having so much fun. Bye.
Well, Tower and Rackin's lines are just a little too long. So, do you want to head out now? Sure, I kind of want to go through some of the shops on the way. Okay, that's a that's good idea. Okay. But we're going to head over to Saratoga Springs where our friends are hanging out and enjoy some balcony time. This whole section is so cute. Including the picture up there. This is my favorite. That is cute. Comment, if you can't tell by the picture, comment below if you know who that's a photo of. Hey mister, are you mad we're leaving right as you're waking up? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow. And we, we're still having more fun tonight. Remember when you stayed here baby? That was fun. Look at that view. <laughs> what up? Yes, dude. You can go up, up, and go down on the big side. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a fun park, Henry. Dude. Henry wanted to come with the boys to get food. That's right. The boys. The boys. We got the food and we got lost like everybody does in Saratoga Springs. Did you get lost? Yeah, he got lost. <laughs> Did it. Wow. Look at Henry telling us. You want to read him a story? You want to give him a bath? You want to take care of him for a few days? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell him all the good stuff about Disney World. And what he's got to do. Be careful. What ride now. is the best ride, Henry? Oh, yeah, what's, 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 what's the one ride he should go on? <laughs> what ride should he go on? <laughs> what's your favorite ride? Which one? Oh, no. bless you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My boy from Brooklyn brings a Chicago bourbon beer. I think they released like four, Look at that. five four, varieties. 14.6%. You know what? My goal is in the first. I don't know if they're doing I don't think they're doing anything. But the, when they open, when Goose Island opens up for tour, Steve. I'm gonna take a tour just for you. I love it, man. I've done it. It's awesome. And the it, original, it, the originator of the bourbon barrel aging. Yeah. So a lot of people, the reason why the dates on here, the year, is people will drink one fresh and then stash oh. and then age it, and then each, you know, just. Uh, I love the bottle. Yeah, it's it's dope. This is the best thing that Goose Island does, I think. Not this particular beer, but just that they, these Bourbon County series of uh, releases is awesome. Well, Steve's been a. A real solid friend, and we're gonna split this. Yeah, Goose is awesome. All right, we're trying for a Brookhart World Record. It's 9:13. The baby is bathed, and we're about to get ready for bed for an early start tomorrow. Get ready. Ah, oh, what's today? Today is January 16th. The 16th message is by Lewis Carroll. Who in the world am I? Ah, that's the great puzzle. Our baby might be asleep and it's 10.05. The earliest sign off in both our project is history. We're trying to go to a 7.40 a.m. reservation with Steve and his family. Mm -hmm. Bunch of dudes. We need to like come up with a name for them because it's like Steve, Leah, Henry, Miles. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.